You talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! You are watching the leaders in full immersion gaming, and this is the pregame show only on the NBL Network. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another edition of the MBL Live pregame show brought to you each and every week by our graphic sponsor, Web3KS.com. They do a ton of our graphics for in our entire network, not just MBL Live, but all of our original programming. They got a great deal for you. If you need graphics done, uh, hit up Web3KS.com. Let them know MBL sent you. You'll get a 15% discount on your entire order. Web3KS.com, the leaders in affordable graphic design. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. I'm always you. I'm hanging with my man, the Kamish Bomber. We got some uh, late season action here on MBL Live Week 15 action. It is the Kansas City Chiefs <coughs> taking on the Buffalo Bills. And Bomber, when you look at these two teams, I don't think anybody predicted this matchup in Week 15 would be an important one for the playoff race. But this is a crucial matchup for both teams. Yeah, you look at both of these teams right now, you see them just on the cusp trying to get that final sixth spot for the AFC wild card, you got the 8-5 and five Buffalo Bills in firm control right now. That means OSU, if they win out, they're going to make the playoffs. This is a big win for them. And the Kansas City Chiefs at 7-6, and six, they're in that next tier in a little bit of a, a traffic jam with the Jacksonville Jaguars and Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs, both with six losses. So this is a must win for Kansas City. And if the Buffalo Bills can pull off this win and go to 9-5, and five, this is a big opportunity for them to just kind of solidify themselves as that sixth seed in the AFC. Well, uh, before we get to talking about the game we have at hand, we're going to keep reminding you about this because our MBL EA Access 64-player tournament is filling up fast. We actually sent out our first batch of acceptances today. Now, if you didn't get an email, do not worry. We only sent out uh, somewhere around 10 acceptances today. Um, just the first batch. We'll be sending them out every week. Look for them on the weekends. Our next batch will be going out su next Sunday afternoon. Uh, but uh, we are up over 160, I believe, uh, applicants for our tournament and rising. So if you want to get in this tournament, make sure you apply early um, and, and make sure you apply now because the later you get on, the farther down the standby list you get down if you don't get in the tournament. Um, how we do end up running it is even if we fill out the whole tournament, everybody else, you all get thrown into a standby chat in GroupMe. Um, and the great part about that is as people drop out, we get to go down the uh, list and uh, put in guys to fill in for those spots. Maybe somebody had something come up in the tournament. So there's always a chance for you to get in. You don't want to miss out on the over a thousand dollar worth of prizes we're giving away you don't want to miss out on that saquon barkley helmet you don't want to miss out on helping out a great charity in operation home front helping america's military's families uh bomber this this tournament is we're looking at under a month away it's starting on august 2nd i can't believe how fast this welcome to the network by. baby it's a big shout out to mbm uh, for the three months of subscribing uh, but we're, we're getting closer, and we still got a lot of things to announce. we got a video coming out tonight that will give you a couple of updates. But um, we've only got, what, tw like 28 days left, Bomber? And at the end of the day, uh, there's going to be stuff coming in each and every day up until we start that tournament. Yeah, absolutely. So you're saying that we we really have nearly about a month. Uh, so we're going to start on the 2nd. It's the 7th right now. I get it. Okay, a little bit less than a month. But But here's the deal. We know how the Madden community works. Once we get to about the 17th or 18th of July, those 160 applications are probably going to double. That's what happened last year. I think last year we finished with 180 applicants. Now we've already had 170. we got 20-something days left to go. And they all start coming in towards the end. What you want to do is solidify your spot now by putting in your application and giving you the best odds to get that an email that says, hey, you've been accepted into the free tournament. We're giving over $1,000 worth of prizes. And I think that's going to be somewhere upwards to closer to 2,000 as we got some major sponsors we're trying to get in touch with now that we're just waiting to put pen to paper. But I think those are leaning in the direction of, of, of coming through as well. So we got a lot of op options, a lot of opportunities to win some great prizes. But most importantly, the most important thing, well, it's a 1A, 1B. The charity is the 1A for me, obviously. OperationHomeFront.org, check them out. But 1B is the release of Madden 19, our first opportunity to get our hands on this I wouldn't say finished product, but it's the release product. So it's the most current product that there is on August 2nd. Uh, I yeah. mean, that's going to be phenomenal. We're going to kick that off with a 12-hour stream, and we're going to be broadcasting your games. 
But if you haven't been on a play-by-play -play broadcast and you want that shine and want to be in the spotlight, then you want to be in this tournament. Go sign up, 365.maddenbomberleague.com. Hit the EA Access tab at the top. Yeah, and check out that new uh, 365 website we got. Do, really worked hard on that one. A uh, big shout out to Bomber for heading up that project. It looks fantastic. Check it out, 365.maddenbomberleague.com. All right, let's get to the game we have today. The Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Buffalo Bills. NBL Live broadcast 227 here on the NBL Network. Let's take a look at those players to watch. And first for the Kansas City Chiefs, Tyree Kill. Uh, is the ageless wonder, it feels like. It feels like every year, Bomb, we're talking about Tyreek Hill and how important he is to the Kansas City offense, and it is no different this year. 50 catches, 952 receiving yards, and 9 touchdowns. And most importantly for the Chiefs, I mean, Tyreek Hill's going to be big because James Draselzic is out, out for three weeks, which is huge. This team needs to basically win out to have a chance at staying in that AFC wild card hunt. The Broncos have that AFC West rock locked up. So Tyree Hill's going to be huge in being that sure-handed veteran wide receiver on the outside to help out the backup quarterback starting for James Rusellzik. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, that's going to be – let's talk Tyree Hill real quick, though. His sure hands, I'm calling them on the bonus coverage. If you happen to tune into that pathetic uh, – piece of a show that we put on here on the MBL Network. Now, obviously, I'm kidding. Check it out. It's definitely not MBL though. Live. It's what, what's that? It's absolutely horrible. <laughs> it's, abs it's, 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 it's it's a horrible. It's, 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 it's an underground. Garbage it's Lucha fire. Underground. Yeah. This is WWE. This is the... Oh, wait. If I say oh, that, Draco ooh, might think Draco's gonna get so bonus is better. Uh -oh. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, so I call him Tyreek Skill because he's got all the skills. 98 catching, 98 catching traffic, 91 spec catch. Yeah, he's 29 years old, which means he's hit that Madden decline but he's still got 95 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. So uh, he's still got a little bit of athleticism, and that's what happens. You can last over time, even on the minus two per season, because he came in with 97 speed. I mean, this guy's rocking and rolling. 5'10", a buck 85. You said it earlier, he has 50 catches, and he's been averaging 58 to 64 catches a season. So I think he's still got about 12 catch catches left in his tank over the next three games. Expect a big game from Tyreek Hill. If this team can win, they got to get him the ball in the flat and allow him to do some work with his legs. Yeah, starting at quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs this week is, uh, we expect it to be, Brennan Doughty, the fourth-year player out of Southern Miss, former Atlanta Falcon, came over to the Kansas City Chiefs this past offseason, and he, it looks like he's going to get a chance. In limited action, he's thrown um, only 18 passes, completed half of those for 147 yards and one interception. All right, on the flip side for the Buffalo Bills, uh, let's look at Shaq Lawson in the season that he's having at defensive end. 17 tackles, 9 sacks, 6 tackles for loss, and a forced fumble. Uh, the 17 tackles, not a high number, but a defensive end bomber, the big one you're looking at are sacks and tackles for loss. And with a combined 15 of those, uh, this is a guy who knows how to get in the backfield and make the big tackle, and when you're facing a quarterback who doesn't have a ton of experience, uh, Shaq Lawson should be able to eat today and will... Uh, be a nightmare uh, for the backup quarterback in Brennan Dowdy. When you think of the Buffalo Bills, I initially think pass rush, pass rush, pass rush, which is going to make it a big deal playing against these Kansas City Chiefs because they're without their quarterback. And they're going to have to go against this tough defensive front line. They only give up 18 points per game, puts them sixth in the league. And check this out, OSU. They're only allowing 192 passing yards a game. Wow. That's fourth best in the league expect that pressure to come hot and heavy i expect a big game from the buffalo bills defense and this team i'm going to say it now they are my sleeper team for nbl season 32 i think they have an opportunity to knock off one of those big beasts in the afc whether it be the steelers the browns or the new york jets i think one of those teams is going to fall and it might end up being the broncos and we'll take that as a victory because his record says you know their record says that they're a beast even though I don't quite buy into that just yet. Let's take a look at what our NBL Bleach Report predictions were for this game between the Chiefs and the Bills. Heavily leading towards the Chiefs, JY and MBM. The only ones going the way of the Buffalo Bills. Bomber, it's time to get your prediction. Who do you like in this game? Can the Kansas City Chiefs pull out a win without James Strasselzik, without... The guy monikered as KCQB, will they be able to pull out a victory and keep their playoff hopes alive? Or the Buffalo Bills, who have sort of been that sleeper team so far, has been that team that nobody's talking about but has been a nice surprise this year at the AFC East, are they going to get one of those marquee wins here on NBL Live?
You know, I like to pick the Kansas City Chiefs, but even if they were 100% healthy OSU, I just can't do it because this team is full of nothing but consistent letdowns in big games. Now, if this was week three, I might be leaning towards the Kansas City Chiefs, even though they're on the road. But right now, they're on the road against a streaking Buffalo Bills team. And on top of that, don't have their starting quarterback, and they're known to kind of fall apart in clutch moments. I got to go with my guys in Buffalo. I think it's time for the Bills to make a big dog play, and what a, what better opportunity than to do it on broadcast number 227 on NBL Live. Should be a great matchup here as we get down towards playoff time. Here in the Madden Bomber League, we appreciate you tuning in to the NBL Live pregame show, but it is game time. Here on the NBL Network, coming up next, a battle between two teams looking to keep their playoff hopes alive. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills facing off head-to-head -head Week 15 action. It's coming up right now, here on NBL Live. I just want to say, hey man, this is T.O., the cover athlete of the Madden 19 Hall of Fame edition, and you're watching the gold standard of the franchise mode, the NBL Network. Holla. Empty backfield for Atkins. He's going to be dropping back to pass here on fourth down. He is looking, he's looking deep over the middle. He has a man, it's Brandon Cooks. Who catches it, makes a man miss! That big playmaker of Look Bill's at him he finds him again into the end zone. Another touchdown. NBL Live Broadcast 227 is live here on the NBL Network at twitch.tv slash NBL Network. We got a great game on tap for you folks. It is the Kansas City Chiefs in there at 7-6, and six, taking on the 8-5 and five Buffalo Bills. I'm OSU. I'm hanging out with my man Bomber. Bomber, a huge matchup today. An absolutely monster matchup. These two teams looking to keep their playoff hopes alive. Absolutely. These two teams, are they got their backs against the ropes. But now they have to fight each other. So it's a weird boxing analogy. Both guys backs against the ropes. Whole lot of ring in between them. But now they got to collide in the middle of the ring. Let's see what's going to happen. And I didn't even get my prediction all the way, OSU. And I'm kind of upset about that. Uh, I want to uh -oh. say this. Uh, Buffalo, 31. Kansas City, 17. That's my final offer. Uh, we should have a great game on tap. Two offenses. Um, that have shown at times uh, an ability to be explosive, but Kansas City playing without their star quarterback, James Trisselgen. Instead, it's going to be the young fourth-year quarterback out of Southern Miss, Brennan Dowdy, uh, starting at quarterback. At least that's who we think it is going to be starting at quarterback. We got three tight ends out there. It's going to be two tight ends, two wide receivers. And on first down, it's a play-action pass. Why not throw it? It looks over to the right side and a tough throw into tight coverage. Wow. What a throw! And <laughs> Brennan Dowdy showing off the arm early. Bomber, how did he fit that ball out to Tyreek Hill? Very dangerous pass for, for the man with 85 throw power, 82 short, 81 medium, uh, 25 years old, six foot from Southern Miss, 216 pounds. He was a six round pick just four seasons ago. That's NBL season 28. Hasn't done anything in the league, but his first pass in here on a must win game. He really tries to squeeze it between the defenders. Quick throw over the middle. Back-to-back -back throws for Brennan Dowdy. Breaking a tackle and finding his way up to the 27-yard line. Nice throw underneath. Uh, McDonald with the catch for 20 yards there. That one a much easier read, but Brennan Dowdy is not gun-shy right now, Bomber. He is not... Um, not going to be a guy who's going to hand the ball off 25 times. Well, I, I see what they're doing right now. They got Dottie starting, and everybody knew that that means there's going to be a lot of pressure on Jalen Valentine to perform. They're stacking the box, and the Chiefs say, hey, we'll pass the ball if we have to. First and 10. It's Dottie dropping back. Blitz picked up nicely. He finds a man underneath all the way up past the, uh, the 15 to the 12-yard line. Give him another first down. Three passes to start the game. Three completions, and the Kansas City Chiefs are in business at the 12-yard line. 
And we got another subscription there from Cool Dell Guy for his third month in a row. He just got accepted into the NBL EA Access 64 player tournament today. So I know he's feeling really excited about that. And why not? Let's run it on first and 10. Try to get the run game going. Ah, what a spin move! The spin cycle is on as Valentine up 10 yards on the play. Gonna bring up a second and inches. Bomber, I know how you love to see the spin cycle working early. A little twinkle toes right there. A little Antoine Walker-esque if you guys are, are basketball fans and you like uh, Shout out to Twan. <laughs> washed up fat ex-ball yep. players. Yep. Antoine yep. Walker used to be my guy, man, and he'd bomb it for deep, 40 oh. feet. Oh, oh, and well, I, I know they were looking to maybe catch the Bills off guard and throw it on, on second and inches, but Bomber, that throw off the back foot. Brennan Dowdy can't do that one. He's lucky that's not going the other way because there were a ton of blue jerseys ready to pick that one off. You got an elite halfback like Valentine. Jalen Valentine's averaging 4.1 yards per carry, five touchdowns, 98 attempts, 397 yards. It's inches for a first down here, and you get three more downs. Why not just run the ball with your star halfback? Well, they're going to come out third and inches. Dowdy under center, two tight ends, one wide receiver. He's got Valentine in the backfield. Uh, fullback going in motion from right to left. They're going to hand it off to Valentine, who makes a great cut up the middle and fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Chiefs. What a drive, Bomber. We talked about could this offense survive without James Trusselzic. Well, with Brennan Dowdy in the running game of Valentine, they said it's no problem here as they find the end zone on their first drive. They came out really aggressive versus a really aggressive defense. As we said earlier, the the Buffalo Bills are, are six at allowing points. They've only given up 18 points per game this season, six best in the league. They're fourth against the pass, 15th against, against the rush. They look like they struggled against the pass, and, and they gave up points on the first drive. This is uncharacteristic of the Buffalo Bills defense that has been so dominant this year at 8-5. and five. Well, now we get to see this Bills offense come out. Offense has been their struggle, especially passing with Christian Withrow, the number 30. Passing offense in the NBL, averaging just over 191 yards per game. Only 284 yards of offense they average. That is good for 27th. But uh, running with Demarcus Crichton, running with Thomas Rawls has been good. Let's see what the Bills can do. See if they can answer an early touchdown by the Kansas City Chiefs. It's Christian Withrow under center. Looks like that is Deshaun Gore in at halfback. And on first and 10, it's Withrow dropping back to pass. Waiting, looking, and then you know he was looking for that skinny post over the middle, and Kansas City smartly comes out and calls some sort of cover three. Yep, right there. You know he was looking for the skinny post bomber. It's an easy read, and the Kansas City Chiefs need to take that away from Christian Withrow. I I'm kind of wondering what's going on with Withrow on that first drive. Maybe just a little gunshot to start. He's having one of the better years of his career at a 90 QBR, but he had the drag open, and then the dig open with the tight end right in front of his face, but he took off and scrambled for seven instead. On second and threes, with her under center, two wide receivers go in the backfield. Play action pass with her dropping back. Looks to the corner route, and that one almost picked off. So, stark comparison here, Bomber. The first couple plays uh, on the Kansas City side with Brennan Dowdy were beautiful. Made some great throws. On the flip side, Christian Withrow, two pass plays. He misses two open reads on the first play, and that throw had no chance of being completed. Yeah, just not enough heat under that ball as he had a man breaking to the outside, just a little hesitant to throw it. But this is a guy having a career year, 90.7 QBR in the AFC East. That's like having 110 QBR. His previous QBRs were 72 and then 50 when he was a rookie in NBL season 30. NBL season 32, he's been cooking and looking good. Kind of off to a rough start to start oh. this game. And on third and three, they hand it off to Deshaun Gore. And nothing happened in there as the Chiefs were well prepared for the run play. And so after the Kansas City Chiefs come out, Bomber, and they put together a beautiful drive down the field, march through that stout Buffalo Bills defense. The Bills come out against a very good Kansas City defense, and they go immediately three and out. And now the pressure is on the defense to not let this game get out of hand. Absolutely, but you've been relying on the defense all season long, so this shouldn't be a problem against a backup quarterback as a big hit there on special teams, but number 82 eats it. I wanted to go back to that touchdown at the goal line, OSU. I saw something about Madden in that sense. I remember in previous Maddens, you'd get that animation where you'd kind of get held up, but you'd <laughs> fall into the end zone, and they would mark you at the at the one or inches from the goal line. Yep. It seems like this Madden, they've completely corrected that, and I've noticed that. I've been meaning to bring it up. I just haven't had the right opportunity. But have you noticed that every time they kind of fall forward now, it, it hesitates, then gives them the touchdown? I think that was a great improvement. 
Yeah, they actually give him that forward progress. On first and ten, man coming in motion on first down, and it's going to be a handoff to Valentine over the left side, and that hole closed quickly. He's able to pick up maybe two on the play. Going to bring up a second and eight. Yeah, number 97 out there looking like a billboard. You got to stay away from him, Valentine. You got to veer left, veer left. Abort, abort. Get away from that run. He was just clogging up the middle. You got to get outside and use your speed. I had to turn on the light. Second and eight. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. Play action pass. Dowdy dumps it off quickly to the flat and finds Valentine. That was a, a big play. For, uh, for oh, no. Brennan Dowdy, as it looks like Valentine is down clutching. I believe that's the left butt cheek. Uh, but that was a nice throw there because the, <laughs> the blitz was directly in his face. Dow he, didn't, he didn't panic at all. He dumped it off underneath, and that's big for a young quarterback. Yeah, third and ten to third and eight. That's a huge difference for me because now I know I can throw the ball three to four yards, and there's a good chance I can pick up that yard after catch, that yak ability I have with Tyreek Hill, and pick up the first down. I think a third and eight is manageable for this team. Uh, whoa, what a break. Brennan Dowdy breaks the tackle. He's taking off. He's going to try to pick up the first down with his legs, and he does. He takes a hit on the sideline. Oh. But Brennan Dowdy breaking tackles in the backfield. Buffalo had a sure sack, and Brennan Dowdy put a little doubt into the defense's mind as he picks up the first down. I'm kind of going with don't doubt Dowdy because he just seems to make all the plays. He shrugged off that corner blitz. You're going to send your corner? Well, I'm going to give him my shoulder, and that's what he did, and he stayed on his feet and made a great run uh, after contact. And then a quick throw by Dowdy over to the left side. First down and more up to the 33-yard line. Brennan Dowdy, 5 of 6, 86 yards. Bomber, are we absolutely positive that's not just James Strzelczyk in a Brennan Dowdy uniform? <laughs> I'm kind of starting to question it now. Strzelczyk has been a phenomenal quarterback for the Chiefs. He's injured. For those that are following NBL, you would know that. If you're just tuning in now, this is the backup quarterback. This isn't the starter, but he's looking sweet. Well, he's going to take a sack here on first and ten as nobody was open on that one. As uh, Valentine's going to be able to return to the game. Eight-yard loss on the play. Got a shout-out, JY, trying to pull the Dowdy jokes but misspelling Dowdy's name so they just don't land as well. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he kind of botched that one. A for uh, definitely effort, a botch. but, uh, uh, but I'm going to give it a C- minus for execution. But that doesn't stop him. He's on rapid fire here, guys. When he starts firing away with the jokes, just be prepared. They're going to keep on coming. Big shout-out to Faisal with Gaming now following here on Twitch. Quick throw underneath up to the 34-yard uh, line. Nice, easy read. Picking up seven, getting it back to a third and 11. And Bomber, I think the key here for Kansas City on third and 11 don't force anything. You're within field goal range. Make sure you get your points on this drive. Yeah, third and 11 I don't like. I said third and eight was manageable for this team just because of the foot speed they have at wide receiver, and the quarterback seems to be making all kinds of plays. But third and 11, you're in field goal range. Do not take the sack and do not turn it over. Third and 11 shotgun formation for Brennan Dowdy. Three wide receivers. Uh, Probably should have handed it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's an interesting call on third and eleven. Going with a read option with a uh, a young quarterback. Uh, I mean, it's a bold call. They lose five on the play. Going to have to make a long field goal from thirty nine from fifty six yards out. It is good. Ten nothing. Your score. Kansas City on top. I just don't like that play call on third down, Bomber. Uh, the inverted veer. Save that for. Uh, and shout out to 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 you eighties babies. You definitely know this movie. Remember the Titans. Like to run a lot of that inverted veer on there. I, I believe so. I could be completely Wait, wrong. I don't know why. No, time, time out, time out, time out. Oh, balls on the ground. Balls on the ground. It's recovered, though, by the Buffalo Bills. Did you say 80s? Remember the Titans came out in 96. Yeah, but if you're in the if you're born in the 80s, then you were, you know, 16. And seven, you know, you definitely have seen the movie. If you're in the 90s, you might have been six or seven, right? Or eight, right? And maybe you missed it. I don't know. That's where I was going with that. And plus I'm an 80s baby. I like to hype us up. So anything that's good, I like to say. If you're an 80s baby, you might get this. First and 10 for the Bills. Three wide receivers, two over the right, one to the left. Deshaun Gore in at halfback. As he sends Goskowski from the right side all the way over to the left, putting two wide receivers on the left side. One over on the right. Gore still in the backfield on first and 10. And Withrow going to hand it off to Deshaun Gore. And after all that adjusting, all that shifting, all that motioning, Bomber, they get no gain on the play. Going to bring up a second and 10. The block shedding from the defensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs have been spectacular so far. As you see, Dante Fowler Jr., former Jacksonville Jaguar getting off the line right there and making a play on the halfback. They've been able to get away with this all year. Just having three down or rushing four, they've just been so active with their hands. They're able to get to the halfback. Phenomenal job by the Chiefs defense. 
on second and ten. What a block in the middle. Withrow gets out of the pocket, throws it where there are two wide receivers. Goskowski cuts in front of the comeback route on the right side and makes the catch, picking up a first down. What a job on the interior, picking up the blitz. A little cut block on the interior to free Christian Withrow to make that throw. All right, maybe the movies are in my head right now, OSU, but listen to me oh, on boy. this one. That could have been a trick play. So you act like you're throwing it to the crosser, but you actually throw it to the guy sitting there who sat down after his route. He the catches it. They tackle Rico. the crosser. Sure. He takes off. No? It's, the it's the annexation of Puerto Rico. Uh, annex <laughs> yeah, version two. This one, actually, the quarterback throws. It. First yeah. and ten, Withrow waiting, waiting. Looks to the out route. It is complete to Jones. Up to the 50-yard line. Down at the 49. Big shout-out to Gub in the chat. Five months of subscribing. Appreciate all of our Gub, we love there. you. We love Gub. We Gub love Gub. Love. Put Gub on a t-shirt. Hey, came from nothing clothing. Our sponsors, Gub if love. you're listening, put Gub it on a t-shirt. Put we it on the t-shirt. And then make a t-shirt that says, put it on a t-shirt. There we yeah. go. First and ten for the uh, Buffalo Bills. They've got two wide receivers out there, and they're going to pick up a penalty back in about five yards. So all that positive play, yeah, they're going to end up uh, going backwards five yards and uh, stopping a little bit of that momentum they had, Bomber. I'm in a crazy situation right now because while I picked the Buffalo Bills to win 31-17, to I'm rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm always, I always find myself being let down by this team. So while my mind thinks one way, my heart's going another. And, and that's the situation I'm in right now. So it's a win-win for me here in NBA Live Broadcast 227. Uh, uh, that play action was aborted very quickly. And Withrow throws a dot over the middle to Jones to pick up the first down. Well, that was one of the ugliest plays I have ever seen, Palmer. But it doesn't matter how it looks. It matter how it works. Insert all your jokes here. That's a big first down. Yeah, nice, nice little hesitation there after the killed the play action too. Killed the play action real early and just found himself kind of sitting there just idling next to the halfback. Just a little hesitation. It, it just kind of stalled that zone defense. They said, oh, is that a handoff? What's going on here? Ends up throwing the ball. Nice throw right there, number 14. Seems like he's kind of getting his stride. Boy. Uh, Bomber, the, as Jones, the wide receiver, uh, doesn't look like he's going to be able to return, but Deshaun Gore. Boy, Bomber, uh, three runs. I get the blocking hasn't been great, but I haven't seen anything out of this halfback for the Buffalo Bills to show that he deserves carries. Yeah, they went with Demarcus Crichton early. He's injured, averaging 5.3 per carry. Thomas Rawls is out, 5.6 per carry. Now they're with Deshaun Gore, their third string halfback, and he's just not getting it done. 69 overall. 89 speed, 90 excel, 80 carrying is on second 11. Withrow dropping back. Withrow dropping back and dropping to his back as Bell comes around the outside and brings him down for a loss. They brought the big blitz on that play. Withrow couldn't make a decision, and they end up losing nine. It's going to bring up a third and long for the Buffalo Bills, needing to put some points on the board. That is a perfect defensive call against that play because there's nothing to the flats. They're sitting in the heat, and the play action gives them just enough time to get to the quarterback. Well, they're going to hand it off to, I think that's Paul Perkins with the carry. He gets seven yards on the play. Maybe Paul Perkins should get more carries because he looked pretty good on that run, picking up seven and cutting it back to a 51-yard field goal attempt from between the hash marks to cut this back to a one-score lead. Ball is down. Kick is up. It is true. It is down the middle. It is good. 10-3 year score. Good for Buffalo. Just getting some points on the board, Bomber, to stop the bleeding for a little bit. Yeah, Paul Perkins has a little bit more of a successful history here in the NBL. He started with the New York Giants, played three seasons from season 26 to 29, then played seasons 30 and 31 with the Miami Dolphins. He averaged 4.6 and 6.1 and 5 yards per carry in three of those five years. He's got he's a seasoned veteran that they might want to start relying on here, especially at that third string halfback mark. Because he can still get it done, even at 28 years old. First and 10 now for the Kansas City Chiefs. Two wide receivers, two tight ends. One tight end going in motion from right to left. Valentine in the backfield. He'll take the carry right up the gut. Not a whole lot there. A lot of traffic on the interior. And Bomber so far, both defenses doing a nice job of controlling the run game. It's going to be up to these two quarterbacks to determine who's going to win this game. Yeah, a lot of big guys in the middle just really plugging up the middle runs. They got the billboard Goodwin number 97 on the defensive line for the Buffalo Bills. And the Kansas City Chiefs have Dante Fowler and a plethora of defensive linemen just seem to really be shutting down the run game. And yeah, now second and 10. And Well, uh, Brennan Downey has done a lot of good in this game. We're just going to ignore whatever that throw was. It wasn't close to anybody. Incomplete pass. Going to bring about a huge third and ten here, Bomber, for the Kansas City Chiefs because a punt back here, Buffalo will get good field position, and then at that point, a touchdown, and it's a whole new ball game. 
I think he had the man coming across the middle. It seemed like a guy that wasn't really hesitant at the beginning has become a little bit hesitant in his reads right now, not trying to thread the needle too much, maybe trying to protect that 10 to three lead for Kansas City. And on third and 10, uh, he's just gonna dump this off to the fly. Good coverage downfield by the Buffalo Bills, making sure there was nothing uh, open over the middle, forcing a three and out from the Kansas City Chiefs. And Bomber, since the Chiefs had that nice opening drive, they've actually been stifled a little bit by this Bills defense. This is the Bills defense we were expecting coming into this game. Absolutely. This is a Buffalo Bills team that's very aggressive, and they have the quickness on the back end. Their secondary cornerback safety has a whiff there on special teams. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He might house this. Oh, no, he gets tackled down at the 50. Uh, there was a big opportunity there uh, for the Buffalo Bills defense to say, hey, you know, it's not really playing well into our hands right now. Let's get kind of start feeling sorry for ourselves. They didn't do it. Uh, they came out, they had a bad first drive, and they've been, they've been pretty good. I think that three and out this last one was an A-plus for me. Looks like this Buffalo Bills defense is starting to figure out this Kansas City backup quarterback regime. Well, great field position here for the Bills at the 49-yard line. Going to be a toss play to Deshaun Gore. He's actually got some good blocking out there, but that's what I'm talking about, Bomber. He had all the room and three blockers out there and still only picked up nine because he cuts too early and ends up getting taken down from behind by the pursuing Marcus Peters. He just doesn't look like he is a running back that should get some carries here in the NBL. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he has very much pace. Got to keep his head moving upfield. Got to be more of a north runner right there. Just a little too much east and west. Cole with the catch down at the 36-yard line. Christian Withrow with his fourth completion of the game. And, boy, how crucial is it here, Bomber, for the Bills with that great field position starting on their own side of the field just to get a touchdown on this drive and put a little confidence in Christian Withrow's hands. That's exactly what they need is they just go underneath to the drag route there. They're keeping it, keeping it really simple and short for number 14, Withrow under center. Well, they're going to uh, give it to Gore on the left side. Tries to spin around the defender. Only had one man to beat. And just couldn't pull it off. Eight-yard gain on that one. Going to bring up a second and two. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, what more can you say, Bomber, about this rushing attack from the Buffalo Bills? The holes are there. The opportunities are there. I mean, one man to beat and you eat and you get to get that six in the end zone. You get to do your end zone dance. And he just seems like he cannot beat one man to get himself uh, some points on the board. Uh, and Withrow is going to fumble the ball. Is picked up. Oh, look at the big uh, – it's Christian Withrow on the bottom of the pile, <laughs> able to recover his own f uh, fumble. But, boy, another one where it looked like Withrow locked in onto one receiver. And the minute that wasn't open, he was lost out there, Bomber. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs got to key in on this one uh, because if if they are able to contain that first read, it's unclear that Withrow is able to make a second one. I'm noticing something about Withrow, too. It seems like when that one read that you're mentioning, which is a great point because it's 100% absolutely true, when it's not there, he just starts drifting up in the pocket. He's not really paying attention to his surroundings. He's just drifting up just, you know, nonchalant-like. A little, a little bubble screen. And what good coverage on the outside. Oh, it was recognized. Big shout-out to Draco on the sticks there, Bomber. Recognizing yeah, the bubble screen coming all the way across and making the tackle for only a one-yard game. Buffalo's going to be forced to settle for a field goal here from the 28-yard line. The kick is up. It is good. It's 10-6, but what a job by the Kansas City defense. What a job by Draco on the sticks. Yeah, Draco with the phenomenal uh, stick skills right there. More importantly, he sniffed that out early. I've had problems stopping that play because I just – don't react at that initial instance, and what it makes me do is have to give up the seven yards and then tackle him past the blocker. And uh, right there, he, he shortcutted the blocker, went for the straight B line uh, to the receiver, to the halfback out the backfield, and he made the play. So that was a great job usering there for Draco. First and 10 for the Kansas City Chiefs, looking at the offense going like they did on the first drive. Haven't been able to get a whole lot going since that first really nice drive by the backup quarterback, Brennan Dowdy. Is this the PAFK quick? It is. It's a play action pass. He throws it to the flat. It is complete. He's got some room up the left side to the 50, all the way up to the 40 to the 35. That's Janty with the catch all the way to the 31 yard line. Bomber, like they say, like, like Pricey would say, that was an oldie but goodie. Beautiful throw up the left side. Got to be more aware on the defensive end. You see two wide receivers. You see two tight ends set. You have to know, hey, there's a possibility this is play action FK quick. I need to put myself in a position to stop this wheel route because that one can really kill you in man coverage. First and 10 for the Kansas City Chiefs play action pass. 
uh, looking, looking, a uh, horrible tackle attempt in the middle. And uh, Dowd is going to take off and slide down at the 23-yard line. Third time he's taken off and used his legs in this game. Eight yards on that one. Going to bring up a second and two. Bomber, the defensive tackle in the middle, had the had the sack, shed his blocker, and then made a pretty pathetic diving attempt at the legs of uh, Brent Dowdy. <laughs> Dowdy's tough to bring down, man. At Southern Miss, he was the guy that ran that read option style quarterback uh, scheme. He's 87 speed, 84 acceleration, and we're seeing those wheels on display today. And speaking of wheels, Tyreek Hill with the catch over the middle. Just fighting through the check by the defender. Picking up a nice game there up to the 13-yard line. Minute 27 to go. Again, we appreciate all of you tuning into to MBL Live. Broadcast 227 here on the MBL Network. I am OSU. And with my man, the Commission Bomber, we've got a ton of broadcasts coming up here on NBL Live. It is about playoff time. This is Week 15 action, the final season of the uh, of this cycle, the Madden 18 cycles. Big shout out to the Governor 23 for the three months of subscribing. Again, if you do hit that subscribe button, you will be entered in all of our NBL subscriber only giveaways. We will have a bunch of those during our EA Access tournament. Oh, we got a bunch. We have a bunch of opportunities to win. We just got some new shirts in today. Big shout out to uh, Storm's got, do we, can, warning. By do the way, we have those? Fall. Do you have those in reach at all, where we could just throw you know? Chunk a couple in the air. Uh, the gold Maybe. standard shirts? Yeah, I think I, think I got yeah. one out here. Um, as on first and now five, man coming in motion. Big shout out to Storm's warning for the follow here on Twitch. Valentine fighting through a tackle all the way up to the seven-yard line. Only pick up one on the play, but uh, it's a long one. They're, they're going to give him two all the way, giving up a second and three. Valentine, a, a, a sneaky, tough running back to bring down, Bomber. He's got the speed. He's got the athleticism, but he also has that... That strength, uh, he keeps his feet moving, he's chopping in space. He just seems like he's always falling forward, and when you think you have him for one to two yards, he picks up three to four. And a handoff right up the middle to Valentine, trying to get that first down, not quite going to bring up third and inches. I think I got the shirts right here, hold on. As OSU steps away right now, 10 to 6 here, Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs need this win, they have to win this game to stay in the playoff hunt. Bill's trying to take it to the next level. We got the shirts on the screen. The gold standard shirts is on third down. Why get fancy? Just keep handing the ball off to Valentine. He does pick up the first down. Yes, these are gold standard shirts, folks. Uh, you don't want to miss out on one of these. We'll be uh, there. Subscriber only giveaways. We give away this stuff. Um, this is our our sort of our, our special subscriber shirt. We also have, by the way, um, some of our our tournament shirts for sale on 365.madabomley.com under uh, the EA Access Tournament tab. 50% of the proceeds going to Operation Homefront. Uh, available in multiple colors. It's Valentine, what a run there. Great blocking on the outside. He finds the hole. It's Valentine's Day here in Kansas City. Big touchdown for the Chiefs to extend their lead to two scores. But, Bomber, uh, I, I I actually ordered three of those tournament shirts. and uh, Yeah, me too. They they are they are sweet. I'm a big fan of the red one. That, that might be my oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, but the that, black red, one, that red looks clean. clean. If you guys thought they only came in black, you need to go check out the red color, man. If you're a fan of, like, a really nice, smooth-looking red shirt. Man, it, it just really pops with the white text. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so Came From Nothing is going to be running all of our merchandise and apparel. Now, those those gold standard, if you do love those gold standard shirts, we still will have an opportunity for you to get those, but those are going to be on giveaway only from here moving forward. So if you're a subscriber moving forward, uh, we will be giving away some gold standard shirts, but those are giveaway only for the subscriber. But, but guess what? We're going to have some Witness Greatness shirts. That's our new branding uh, slogan for Madden 19. And Came From Nothing is going to be putting our logo on all kinds of summer stuff, winter apparel. It's going to be phenomenal. I mean, you're just going to be walking around OSU in just all kinds of MBL gear. Yeah, I'll be decked out, absolutely. I will, I will look like that that tourist who bought everything at the iHeart New York stand as I'm first and ten. <laughs> oh, Deshaun Gore makes me look silly as he makes a juke move, and he's up the sideline. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. Deshaun Gore going. Well, those first couple of carries were ugly, but I got one for you here, OSU. Big juke move, big touchdown as they answer right away. One play, one score. And that's a huge score at the end of the quarter, the end of the half, to come away with points when really they were in a situation where they should have been down, what, 17 to 6? Uh, going into halftime, they get a big run from their halfback, and Gore finally scores. No relation to Frank Gore. I saw that in the chat earlier. They asked if that was some kind of relative. Not, none that we know of. Uh, they have two completely different running styles as well. But, man, nice little juke there. And now we got ourselves a ball game here as Kansas City, City has their their – Back against the ropes. They have to win this game to stay in the AFC playoff run. They're looking for that number six spot. They're seven and six. The Buffalo Bills are eight and five. I mean, everything seems to be alive right now here in this game. It just pretty much turned uh, tides. Bomber, do you, you, I don't know if you have a watch on, but it's Wildcat time. 
Oh, here we uh, go. As the Kansas City Chiefs come out, Wildcat formation, man coming in motion. Will he hand it off or will Valentine keep it? No, Valentine keeps it and runs a good seven yards backwards. Folks, if you're running the Wildcat at the end of the half, try to get a touchdown. Uh, general advice here from somebody who's not very good at Madden, try running forwards, not backwards. You're welcome. All right, I got, I got some Tips advice for defense too. If yeah. I see Wildcat, I'll tell you, I run commit every time. I run oh, commit yeah. and I'll just use the safety. I'll just say, hey, if you throw it, Good luck to you, man. If you're a halfback and throw a touchdown, all right, I'll take it. But, yeah, I, I, that that play is uh, – it just seems like the blocking lines up sometimes, you know, and it's yep. just like that guy's blocked, that guy's blocked. Oh, crap, that guy's blocked, and then I'm running. I'm running from the other side going, oh, my gosh, how did, how did this happen? Yeah, so now I just uh, run commit on that one. Yep, run commit the way that the, uh, the motion is going. Exactly. Yeah, that's happens. what I do. I mean, it can probably burn you. I actually had a, uh, the Packers on the one-yard line. They were on their own one. And I saw him come out in Wildcat. I said, forget it. I'm not going away from my principal. The last five Wildcats I've ran commit and I haven't given up, given up anything. Well, he went to pass it, but he ended oh. up taking a safety. But his guy was oh. wide open, and uh, I was worried. Looks like it looks like they might have aggressive on in Kansas City. <laughs> the ball, <laughs> he got the offense. Ball, Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. 10 out of 10 on watching that one. Uh, a little jump on the right side, and Buffalo got a little antsy on their own, giving up uh, another false start penalty. 17-13, you score. Both these teams needing a win to stay in the playoff race. And uh, Bomber, playoff time here on the NBL Network. It is an exciting time to be a follower because we've got a ton of broadcasts coming up. Absolutely. We broadcast every round from the playoffs, every game from the conference championship to the Super Bowl. It's going to be a fun, wild ride to close out this Madden 18. There's nowhere to go there for Gore. He gets back to his normal ways. He's got one big run before the end of the first half. We just witnessed that. Put some points on the board. But outside of that, he's been pretty pathetic so far for this Buffalo Bills. He is the third string halfback for this team. You see them right there, number 23. I will say, by the way, uh, the fun part about uh, Bomber giving that advice. I was sitting there, I was like, why, why would, you, like, why would you say that? And then I remembered, we only have like five games left in this cycle, so who knows what? Yeah, I and I might not run cat. commit if somebody does it on me <laughs> and they're listening. <laughs> it sets up a lot of opportunities here, OSU. Second and sixteen, looks up in the middle of the field. He finds Cole with a diving catch at the thirty-one yard line. Bomber Christian Withrow, uh, one of those guys, a younger quarterback. Everybody's sort of waiting for him to take the next next step. Hasn't been particularly impressive today. He's been stifled when he goes off his first read, but he hasn't turned the ball over yet, and sometimes that's all you need to do. As a rookie, he had a 60 QBR. As a sophomore in the NBL, he had a 70. This year is a 90, but a 90 for him has been 110 and 70. That's been basically where he's been up and down, up and down all season. I do wonder why. I mean, again, it's always good to see guys stepping up in the pocket as opposed to doing that. That drop oh, I already back, told you what he's dropping. doing. But yeah. why? Why no, your read wasn't open? But you so then he just starts just moving, run. but he's not. Just he's run. not really even looking. He doesn't see. See, the problem is he didn't. He hasn't dissected any information after he hiked the ball. So he's looking at one read, and by the time that's not open, two to three seconds, the pocket has completely changed. Now he's now he's sitting in an area which he's completely blind, and he just tries to guess his way out of the pocket, or he tries to step up without really knowing what's going on in his surroundings. You have to constantly check the pocket. You have to constantly have that peripheral vision at the line of scrimmage to know where everything is. It just seems like Withrow kind of, he just kind of doesn't have that in his game yet, and that's probably something that he will never have and he's just going to have to uh, get better at making that first read. Well, Brennan Dowdy has had a good first half. He's going to take a sack. Big blitz by the Buffalo Bills over that, overloading that left side. Boy, that slot post was going to be all sorts of open, and Dowdy just couldn't pull the trigger, losing five on the play. Going to bring up a second and 15. That's one of those things where you know a guy's about to get open, but he's just not there yet. And then the pass rush gets to you, and down goes the quarterback. Got to make quicker decisions if you're Kansas City. Even though he's a backup quarterback, he's still got to be able to make that throw. Second and 15, handoff to Valentine over the left side. The blocking is good. Oh, Valentine just gets caught from behind. It looked like that second level block was going to spring him. Instead, he still picks up 10. Going to cut it down to a third and manageable, and that's big for this Kansas City offense. Yeah, I don't know if he let off the gas there or kind of changed directions. Maybe even he started hitting the juke move, and it just put him into the animation getting tackled from behind. But if he would have stayed running downhill, that blocking actually just worked out for him perfectly, kind of similar to how the Wildcat kind of runs sometimes. He could have probably went to the house. That could have easily have been a 65-70 yard just route for a touchdown there for Valentine. Third and five shotgun formation for Brennan Dowdy. He's going to send Valentine in motion, emptying out the backfield. He'll drop back to pass here on third and five. And 
Hits his big, big left guard in in the back. Not not pretty, Bomber. Not pretty. Just yeah, just, that, that pretty. I didn't understand the passing window on that throw. Um, you have to see what's in front of you. He was throwing to three yards past where his lineman was. Why he dotted his offensive lineman in the back of his numbers? I, I'm maybe, maybe he the missed ball a just got away from him. Maybe he missed a block earlier and he was just sending a message like, "Take this." Uh, what a beautiful job getting around the block there by Draco, and then a hundred percent stone cold whiffing with the hit stick. It looked like it was gonna be really cool, and uh, somebody clip that and just play that over and over because I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, we need, probably need to clip it with the fact that he ran from the other side of the field on the swing play and made a tackle in open Dude, space, and then this did this. Guy? Look at the pooch on number sixty nine on the sidelines. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's looking got a pooch. Up. He's got no issue pooch. <laughs> His beautiful. BMI is definitely up there in the fifties or forties. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's been to Taco Bell once or twice. Like, that's not a guy who's on the protein plan. He just eats pancakes. Uh, first and 10 for Christian Withrow and the Buffalo Bills. Need to get some momentum here as Gore goes in motion. Pump fake. Um, and he threw a pick. Oh, um, wow. What an interception right there by the defense. I think he was on a quarterback spy. That was Gage, and he uh, kind of gauged that pass. See, here's the funny part about that, OSU. That's an overload blitz cover zero, right? But all the blocking got picked up, and he had three routes against three receivers, and they were all going to get over top of their defender, and he bails I, out for the for the post route. And they'll start this drive with very good. <sighs> First and ten for the Kansas City Chiefs. Great field position here on the 16-yard line. Blitz coming, and uh, yep, just take that sack right there, Mr. Dowdy. Why throw the ball when you can get overloaded blitz back right back at you, my friend? Loss of six on the play. <laughs> That's a little rage coming from the Buffalo Bills defense right now. The defensive coordinator is upset that the offense keeps putting them in a bad situation, and now uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are kind of paying the price of it. They're at second and 16, but what's most important for them, just make sure they come away with at least three and extend this to a seven-point game. Second and 16. Uh, an absolutely horrendous throw on the drag route. It ends up, I think, losing them yard. Now, they might have picked up one there. That was a horrible throw, Bomber. He had McDonald all sorts of open and put that ball way too far in space with way too much mustard on that. Yeah, it seems like the, the quarterback play over the last, what do you say, minute and a half has been pretty erratic on both sides of the ball. We just aren't seeing those consistent throws or even making the right read right now. We've seen really some trajectory issues from both quarterbacks. And then they run it on third down. So after getting gifted Bomber with field position on the 16-yard line, the Kansas City offense loses six yards in three plays and has to settle for a field goal, which keeps it a one-score ball game. How great is the Buffalo defense, though? I mean, they, they essentially say, hey, you're already in field goal range. We're going to move you back six yards. You're still going to take the field goal, but that's not on us. That's going to be on the offense from Buffalo and Winthrow. They got to put some points on the board and they got to stop putting their defense in these really, really crappy situations. Well, uh, I mean, 238 to go here in the third quarter. How much, like on a scale of 1 to 10, Bomber, 1 being, um, uh, one being Decca's offense, uh, 10 being Lips' offense, how much faith do you have in this Buffalo Bills offense to uh, tie this ballgame up? Well, I mean, I had enough faith to say they would score 31. I just didn't well, realize that Kansas seen City would score 20. What's that? Now, well, now you've seen them. Now that you've seen them, is that yeah, face it still doesn't there? look good. It looks like okay. it doesn't look like a 90 QBR. I'm telling. I think he's a 110 QBR and a 70 QBR. I think we're getting the 70 QBR win throw today. Uh, Gore uh, taking the Pac-Man route, a little up, straight left turn, back up, left turn, picking up all those dots, getting five yards on the play, getting him up a second and five. Yeah, I think that blitz up the middle really scared the halfback there. Everything seemed to be shredded up the middle, and he said, ah, I'm not going there. Yeah, he Pass. goes to the outside, ends up gaining five. Might be his second best run of the game. Good decision right there by him. Picks up another five. But that big run before the first half, just imagine if they didn't get that right now. This would be a pretty dead-in-the-water Buffalo Bills offense. Second and five. Pistol formation for Christian Withrow as he drops back to pass. Rush coming up the middle. It's picked up nicely. Oh, what a throw by Christian Winthrow. So after a horrendous throw against the overload blitz where he had all sorts of choices to make a, a good throw, he throws a pick. There, he finds a way to fit that ball to Cole in between three defenders. Uh, Winthrow, a little bit of hot and cold in the words of Katy Perry. And I don't like the throw either. You see a cover one robber. You got the robber leaning that side. You got the over-the-top cover one leaning that side. But you had a corner route breaking to the sideline on the strong side of the field. And he was wide open. And maybe he could have took that for 50, 60 yards. Um, 
Okay, so so watching that one, Bomber, I don't know if you noticed this, but if you notice, they come out in that quick pitch. Kansas City adjusts their defense, and the entire secondary shifts to the right side. The way the pitch is going, and they still decide to pitch it out that way, you could tell that wasn't going to go for a lot of yards from the minute it happened. Well, we're seeing that a lot with Buffalo, and it also in parts of uh, about this. You know, you look at Buffalo, their quarterback makes one read, and he stays on that read. That's the issue right now. Well, they come out to the line of scrimmage in a run play. The defense adjusts. They stay with the run play. Not seeing the adjustments needed to win this game right now from Buffalo. Definitely not their best performance in this game right here, broadcast number 227. Well, uh, Gore was over 100 yards. Now back to 99 after losing one on that play. A little more of that Pac-Man left, right, left, right, direct turns. Unfortunately, though, Dante Fowler got in the backfield was able to bring him down. Now third and 10. For the Buffalo Bills, looking for a big conversion here. They're just on the other side of midfield. Paul Perkins into the game at halfback. To the left of Christian Withrow. Four wide receivers, two to each side. 54 seconds and counting to go here in the third quarter as Withrow takes the snap. He drops back on third and ten. Waiting, waiting. Rolls out to the left side. Waiting. Chucks it across his body into triple coverage. And it is picked off. And the only thing that surprised me there is that Bell didn't take that back all the way. As every single Buffalo Bill was concentrated on one place. Bell decided to run into the meat of the Buffalo offense turn defense. But Bomber Christian Withrow's throw. You, you, you almost want to take throw out of his last name and just call him Christian Witt. Yeah, man, or, or add interception into the last part of his name. But, Christian but Withrow interception, got it. That might have been his best movement out of the pocket on that play. He just made a horrible decision afterwards as 21. Valentine, oh. it might be Valentine's Day because uh, he got his bell rung a little bit. He might think Ooh. it's February at some point right now. And he had a nice hole over there. It just cut into the defender. Now second and eight for the Kansas City Chiefs. 26 seconds and counting. Two wide receivers, two tight ends. For Kansas City, and on second down, it's a handoff to Valentine over the left side. He'll be taken down at the 49-yard line. While we have a moment here in the third quarter, want to, of course, give a big shout-out to our graphics sponsor, Web3KS.com. Uh, they're a big supporter of the MBL. They do a ton of graphics for us, and if you or anyone you know needs graphics done for affordable price, hit up Web3KS.com. Let them know MBL sent you. You'll get a 15% discount on your entire order. Web3KS.com, the leaders in affordable graphic design. Third and three now for the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be Brennan Dowdy under center. Valentine in the backfield. Two wide receivers, one tight end out there for the Kansas City Chiefs. Play action pass. It's going to be Dowdy throwing the ball. Only two routes out there, uh, and Dowdy is... Just going to patiently wait for the linebacker to commit, and he will take off. Oh, my. He looks so good today. I mean, he's just so poised, and it's almost like he knows he's 87 speed. So, OSU, if you're five yards from him, he knows that you're going to have to get a little closer than that. You know, the agility, the athleticism that he has, he's just toying with the defense here. And like you said, on two routes that were essentially dead and covered, he makes the right decision. He goes to the sideline. He waits. He waits. He takes off, picks up the first down. Big first down pickup for the Kansas City Chiefs. A touchdown here would make things uh, a heck of a lot more difficult for the Buffalo Bills. They're almost in field goal range. A little draw play for Valentine, who tries to run through the Buffalo Bills defender and is taken down immediately. Going to bring up a second and 10. And Bomber, boy, these running games for both teams have been uh, a little tough to watch today. I don't know if I blame that on Valentine there. 72 just didn't seem like he was indecisive on where he wanted to block. So initially he didn't block the the uh, defender in front of him, and then he decided to at the last second cause the halfback to run into him. Uh, Got to pick up one on that counter play. 15 carries, 35 yards for Valentine, but he has found the end zone twice, and sometimes, Bomber, it doesn't matter about the journey. It just matters about the destination, and uh, Valentine's destination has been the end zone all day long. Yeah, it really has. And, uh, you know, you're looking at Valentine right now and you're thinking to yourself, you know, this is a guy we've seen on, on uh, bonus covers do a little bit more than he's doing now and been a little bit more of an engine. Let's see if he can pick it up right now. Nice dot right there for Brennan. Great throw to, I think that was Janty with the catch. 11 of 14 for 166 yards. Also has four carries over 30 yards on the game. He has been very good and is making his case for NBA Live player of the game here for broadcast 227. Five minutes and counting, and it is crucial for Buffalo to get a stop. Force Kansas City to kick a field goal and get the ball back with some time on the clock. As this throw over the middle, boy. Oh, what a spin move by Tyreek Hill. Dowdy just got that off as he got hit. Hill makes the catch in front of the defender. Then a little whoop spin move up the middle and gets to the six-yard line. Tyreek Hill showing off some fancy footwork. 
Man, I'm starting to fall in love with these Kansas City Chiefs. I sure would love them to get that sixth spot there and kind of be this wild card underdog. They're asking in the chat right now, do you know the records of these two teams? Chiefs are 7-6. and six, Bills are 8-5. and five. They're both playing for that sixth wild card spot right now. It's up for grabs. The Bills currently have it at the 8-5 and five spot. But if they lose today, which... Kansas City scores here, OSU. Do we see anything else really happening here? It would no. take a monumental collapse on Kansas City's part. And you would be relying on Christian Withrow to make the right throw, and he hasn't really been able to do a whole lot today. A win today would uh, make it very interesting. You would have put three teams at 8-6, and six, the Bills, the Jaguars, and the Chiefs, all fighting, uh, all fighting for that final wild card spot. And you get into some tie-break nightmares as the handoff is to Valentine. Valentine, oh, he, he should have gotten in the end zone, but it's taken down just shy of the goal line. Third and goal. Uh, Bomber, if you're Buffalo, I mean, this is one of those moments. It's on the half-yard line. You just sort of run commit up the middle, right? Yeah, you got to get aggressive with the defense. This is an aggressive defense. They got number the billboard, a.k.a. number 97. He's not even in the – oh, there he is to the right there side of there, a screen. He's down on, on fours of four, four point stance right now. It looks like – they look like they're ready to charge this line. Let's see what Kansas City's going to do. They're going to hand it to the big fat fullback, and the big fat fullback's going to find the end zone. Touchdown, Chiefs. He may only have six carries on the year, but he finds a touchdown to extend their lead to two scores, Bomber. It has been – Really, uh, the, the Dowdy show up into the goal line, and then Kansas City just lets their running back and fullback do the rest of the work. Three touchdowns on the ground, and they are up 14 with 3.44 to go. I don't know if he ran commit up the middle there, but maybe he should have. It would have stopped that fullback dive. I, I, it just seemed like the line collapsed uh, to the left, their left, our right side. Ah, I just didn't like what I saw there from Buffalo on the one. That was a big stop. I think they needed a 10-point game here as they're just doing a little whirly derby here down as, to as the 34-yard line. Bomber, you watch that kick return, and here's what I saw there. Look at all the things you're not going to be able to do in Madden 19. There was a lot of swerving yeah. at, at full speed, and that's just And, and why is that? What is the new feature they got? What is the, the new, uh, The real call? player motion. Uh, oh, which really? Is Tell us a little bit more about that. It's just ironic because it's RPM, and uh, the RPMs are going to be down on this game. Uh, basically, it's just a new player motion graphic that makes the players react more realistically. You're not going to be able to cut at full speed. There's going to be some stuttering, um, uh, a little stutter step on cuts, a little stutter step on cuts at full speed. It's going to take away that swerve cut, that, that real hard full speed, and then a quick left turn because at the end of the day, Bomber, I don't know if you knew this, as Deshaun Gore is down holding his wrist, so Paul Perkins, I guess, is going to get more carries now. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but if you've ever tried running full speed, then cutting 90 degrees, it does not happen like it does in Madden. No, no, it does not. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, trying to cut 90 degrees is not a realistic cut. It's been in Madden for quite some time. I think the real player uh, movement is really going to change some things. It's just a dangerous throw. Oh. Nice play, safety play there by number 30 in that cover two man. And I think right there, uh, Bomber, you, you talk about uh, improvements from Madden 17 to 18. I know safety play isn't maybe where we want it to be, but the safety doesn't make that play in Madden 17. In Madden 18, you do see it from, from good safeties jumping down to cover some of those underneath throws. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we need to see, man. I just hope that that uh, is, is a feature that, that uh, you know, doesn't get changed, right? It continues to get worked on as third and 11. Withrow waiting, waiting, looks underneath, finds Cole at the 46 yard line. I say underneath. It was 10 yards as Gore with that dislocated finger, will return to the game. Um, but uh, I, I say underneath. It, it just looked more underneath because uh, Withrow dropped back about 15 yards and then made a 10-yard throw. Yeah, so it looked like a 25-yard pass to us watching. But here's the deal. Where's the pace? 3-11 left. I always like to put a clock on when they need to score and still not really be against a time crunch. It's about there. I need to see a touchdown between 235, 240 for these Buffalo Bills to really have an opportunity uh, to get back in this game without having to burn all their time out. Has a man open at his bridges who ma makes the juke moves. Going to get to the 28-yard line, but boy, Bomber, here's what I've seen. Three throws by Christian Withrow here on this drive. All three have been play-action rollouts. Uh, the uh, the defense, the Kansas City Chiefs defense, need to recognize that as Taco King joining us in the chat. Shout-out to Taco King. Shout-out to Tacos. Big fan of Tacos. Absolutely. Uh, Taco saying. Bell connoisseur. He's rolling out their play action and because they're trying to simplify the offense right now because they haven't getting, been getting much between cool. the ears 
from this quarterback as you see him throw it away right there. Winthrow hasn't oh. been good. So in order to simplify the offense, OSU, you got to get him on the move, get him moving, make the defense have to respect his feet because they're not really respecting his arm right now. And between the ears, he's just not really slicing and dicing. Simplify the offense, put the receiver in front of him, easy pitch and catch. That's what they've been doing to try to move down the field, but they've just passed that uh, 240 mark right now. they got about four seconds. I need to see him in the end zone. Second and ten. They're going to run a little counterplay with Deshaun Gore. And Deshaun Gore's going to get what he's gotten for all but one carry on the day. And get three yards. Going to bring up a third. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say not enough. Right. <laughs> Ob obviously not enough. That, that would have been a good one. But that, that number looks good with that one big run. And now they're hurrying up, but really not hurrying up at all. As they're using a lot of time here. Changing the play on the line. Going to put three wide receivers over to the left side. Deshaun Gore to the right of Christian Withrow. One tight end out there. They're continuing to change the play. Why hurry up if you're going to use the entire clock? It, again, they got back to line at 225. They're going to get up to the two-minute warning here on third and seven. Withrow dropping back to pass. Waiting, lobbing it up over the top. Finds Cole, but Cole can't hang on through the contact. We've hit the two-minute warning bomber and some real questionable clock management there by the uh, Buffalo Bills offense. Absolutely. I mean, it's all about pace. I, I said it at the four, almost the four minute mark that it's all about pace with Buffalo right now. They got down to about 307. I say, hey, we need to get him before 235, 245. They're still on that same drive now, fourth and seven. They got to pick up the first down, and they're nowhere near scoring right now. Yeah, fourth and seven. Withrow drops back on fourth down, waiting, looking, waiting, rolling, waiting, tossing, waiting, finding Cole, and Cole makes a catch <laughs> through the contact. <laughs> Boy, Everything boys and girls at home, you're not supposed to do as yeah. a quarterback. Was if you're done looking, by if you're looking for like a tape on like what to do, how to be a good quarterback, ignore that entire play. Absolutely, what what you're seeing right there is a quarterback that's rolling out to an area in which he has no wide receivers. They were all running from the left side to the right side. He rolls to the weak side, leaves himself on an island, gets bailed out by the wide receiver. A uh, quick throw to the flat to Gore. I am surprised, uh, Bob, we haven't seen Kansas City go to a conservative pass rush and try to keep Withrow in the pocket. Yeah, that, I mean, that that's what I'd like to see. Uh, you know, keep him in the pocket, make him have to throw the ball from inside the pocket and trust his arm. He has not been good inside the pocket. You're absolutely right. Well, that hit him right in, right in the hands. He's got to come up with that catch. That one not on Withrow. A nice low throw in the end zone. It just... Couldn't make it happen, and now third and eight, and Bomber, you said they need to score around 235. There's now 116 on the clock. Yeah, that just does, that doesn't that doesn't look like you're leaving yourself much time. I know you're trying to preserve those three timeouts, but 116 yep, isn't yep, enough, and that's, that's the game. That's enough of that one. Just, just, uh, just, uh, yep, take the, okay. Yeah, that was probably unnecessary, but Bell with his second pick of the day, and that seals this one up, and now we have an interesting little setup in the AFC wildcard, Bomber. Three teams now at eight and six. Only one of them still has a shot at a division. And let's not forget, okay? So we've got, we'll have three teams now at eight and six. The Chiefs at eight and six. The Jaguars at eight and six. And the Bills at eight and six. Then you also have the Houston Texans at eight, five, and one. But technically at the top of the AFC South. And then let's not forget, you've got the New England Patriots at seven and seven in, in case anyone falters. Uh, the AFC wildcard is going to come down till week, till week 17. Yeah, it, it really is. And, and I'm really interested to see how that tie really works for the Houston Texans because those ties are either going to play in your favor or they're going to play against you. Uh, you know, you're either going to have the same amount of losses as the guy that gets in or you're going to have one less loss because of the tie. I'm just really hoping – that the, the Houston Texans can, can hang on because they haven't won a division title this Madden cycle. It would be nice to see them uh, on there as that's been a di division dominated by Sonny Weaver and those Tennessee Titans, which won't be making the playoffs this year as they finish their 5-9 and nine right now. It's just mathematically impossible. It would be nice to see the Texans there, but I know the Jaguars are thinking, hey, we can use that tie to our advantage. They take one more L. They got six losses. We went out. We're good. So right now it's got them favored, but as you said, we still got two games left to play. Tiger King in the chat saying, go Chiefs. That's my team in the league I'm in. Uh, the Chiefs have a good shot at the playoffs. Uh, this was a big win for them. They have another big game bomber in week 16 uh, because next week, these Kansas City Chiefs, they face off against the Houston Texans at 8-5-1. A big game for playoff wow. implications. So if that was if that was a time for the Kansas City Chiefs, if there was a time for the Chiefs to do their seasonal collapse... It wouldn't have been today, so I think it's I picked the wrong week. date. It'd yeah, be right. the next week after a win today, which makes us believe that they actually have hope 
and then they let us down. And mind you, I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan as well, especially in the NBL. I root for Draco, but he's, he's let like me NXT. down so much. Yeah, I'm just a little... He's like NXT. It just lets you down. Yeah, it just, it just lets me down. Absolutely. 27-13, your final score here on NBL Live. The Chiefs coming out on top. Moving to 8-6, keep their playoff hopes alive. The Bills take a big hit here on NBL Live Broadcast 227. It's time to make our selection for NBL Live Player of the Game. Boy, that looks good. I don't know what happened. Exploit updated, and uh, oh, I can oh I can flatten myself now. Oh, I'm upside down. We're doing upside down uh, Player of the Game. Um, something something happened. Exploit updated and messed up all the cameras, but I'm doing this upside down. This is hilarious. Uh, bummer. Uh, Valentine had two touchdowns. That's cool. But at the end of the day, are you? Did you see the upside down? <laughs> yeah, you're you're a fool, man. <laughs> Who broadcast, would want to be upside down? Why is that quality? even? A, I don't know. Even... I can like I can dimensionally shift myself. It's it's odd. Uh, anywho, uh, Brendan Dowdy comes in for James Druselchik. Doesn't throw for any touchdowns, but was absolutely fantastic. Um, in the passing game, only 162 yards, but made the right reads, Bomber. And most importantly, he took off with his legs. Um, more importantly than not, Draco comes in the chat and goes, why is OSU upside down? Um, don't worry about it, bud. Um, uh, you, the, the ability to recognize the pressure and to get out of the pocket and take off, as opposed to doing what Christian Withrow did and just stay in the pocket and take a sack, uh, it, that's why I would say Brennan Dowdy deserves our player of the game. Yeah, and player of the game is going to be actually selected by Bleacher Report moving forward. They're going to be selecting, they're going to be powered by Bleach Report, so you're going to want to check them out and follow them on Twitter. They'll be selecting the player of the game. But for us, on the broadcast booth, I'm right there with you because Brendan Dowdy was more than poised, Decca. It was more than poise. It was confidence. It was just, ow. I just want to say it's more than poise because this guy's attributes do not reflect the performance that we just saw. Him in the pocket, he was not only, he didn't assert himself into the offense. He just demanded the respect of the defense, and they weren't giving it to him at first. He demanded it. They started respecting him at the end, and he still was slicing and dicing. Brendan Dowdy, 80% completion, 181 yards. And what he did in the air, he also did with his feet. He was just so good, man. I mean, he just looked so great running, 87 speed. Uh, he just looked phenomenal today. Definitely my choice for player of the game. I'm just messing around right now. Uh, All right. Shout out to Ice Baller now following. Uh, he'll be your, Brendan Dowdy, your NBA Live player of the game. Um, for NBA Live Broadcast, 227. Boom! Now I'm flipped the other way. I just, I just... I, again, when Xplit updates and messes up cameras, it, it bothers me. So I now get to play with it. Uh, we're heading into week 16. Again, follow us on Twitter at Bomber League. Um, if you want to keep up with our matchups as we go along, that'll be scheduled uh, tonight. Uh, we will also have an update for our tournament posted to our YouTube. It will be tweeted out at Bomber League, at NBL Network. Follow those on Twitter. Um, as we head down to uh, the final weeks of the season, uh, we appreciate all of you tuning in to NBL Live Broadcast 227. For my co-host, Bomber, I am OSU. Once again, your final score, Kansas City Chiefs. Come out on top 27-13 over the Buffalo Bills. We'll see you for all the NBL Live action coming up. Final weeks of the season. Don't miss out. Hit that follow button. And be sure you tune in next time right here on NBL Live.